Deckles are on. Uh, no issues. They perform well. Uh, trumpeter, hobby boss deckles usually do. The only problem was some of their uh, walkways. They have a spelling mistake, <clears throat> and they are. If you can see that, they are cork ray. <laughs> I, uh, I just put them on anyway, you don't really, unless you get up close and you can see it. Like I mentioned, I'm doing the out of box builds, I'm using the kit decals. Uh, yeah, I don't know what went on there. Spelling check. <clears throat> oh, yeah, so now it's a matter of a wash and getting it all together. I've uh, painted up the canopy, so I cleaned out those. Uh, panel line, seam lines that were in the sides of the glass shouldn't be there polished them out, dipped it in uh, future put on the interior parts uh, and then you got all the other parts that had to have decals on, no step uh, aircraft number all that's done so uh, I'm just going to give it the uh, Flory Models Dark Dirt Wash as per my normal quick method of giving an aircraft a wash and then can I uh, start getting this beast together and finished alright finally finished what I thought was going to be a relatively simple 170 second build turned out to be a lot more the final look is really nice details. It's a great looking kit, but several issues along the way, like the windscreen uh, fitting. What that it's possible that was me, but I don't. I don't think so. I think that's an issue with it. Uh, yes, I'm aware that the fuselage speed brakes weren't open. At the time when I cut the holes out to fit them, I wasn't aware. Uh, it's been pointed out to me since then. So it's incorrect in that regards, but then the whole layout is because one wing down, one wing's up. I'm just displaying the model, what it's capable of. So if I were doing it again, I'd have both wings folded because it was a real effort having the uh, left wing extended. Uh, it's flimsy supports really. You need to beef it up like I did with the brass tube to support it. Uh, the other issues is the uh, weapons. The uh, pylons, the uh, braces, sway braces for the bombs are really a little bit too big for the bombs but as I mentioned, I'm doing it out of box, so I couldn't add other kit parts to it. But really love the final look. I love the weathered paint scheme I did on it. I probably wouldn't ever build another one, even though I'm happy with this one. It's, this is also a reason why I did one wing down, one wing up. Because I probably won't ever do this kit again. So I'd, I'd recommend it, but just be prepared. You're in for uh, a few little niggles along the way. It's not so straightforward. I can't speak to the other kits that are out of the A6. I think, is it Fujimi do one? Uh, Tallery? Uh, I'm not sure who else, but I think I looked up like you're going back to the 90s or earlier so surely this is more detailed like rivet and panel line it has to be so that that's what you take into consideration well I would anyway uh, when I'm buying a model alright so I'm going to add some still photos at the end of it so hopefully if you watched along and you're going to build it you know what you're in for and what to look out for 
Thanks for watching.